So the next prospect I want to talk about here, um, Noah Gray, who was, you know, taken by the Chiefs after a trade up, which I didn't really. Brett Veach does still does it. He still trades up, hasn't traded back. This trade with the Jets, the Chiefs got pick 162 and 226 for pick 175 and 207. So they still kept 181. Um, they trade up, and when they traded up, this is not the guy that I really expected them to get. I don't know about you, Jordan, when you heard Chiefs straight up. I don't think tight end from Duke Noah Gray was the first player to pop into your head. Uh, but after looking at this guy, admittedly, I didn't really know a whole lot about him. I knew his name. I knew, like, of him. I didn't know a whole lot about his game because I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on tight ends. I figured if they are going to draft a tight end, it was going to be, you know, Brevin Jordan, Pratt Firemuth, the top topper guys, right? The, uh, the yeah. guys that are the good. Tommy, Tommy Turtles of the world. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> um, that's what I was saying. That's what I was thinking they were going to go with, but they take Noah Gray. And when you start looking at his mixtape, I believe Nate Taylor, also front of the program, tweeted out the Noah Gray mixtape is dope. That's what he said. Um, <laughs> the dude can catch the football. You love to see from a tight end, too. Chiefs haven't had a tight end, too, that can catch the football in a hot minute. Um, he's a fine player. His frame is small, but he's a good athlete. As a tight end, having a small frame is a little iffy, but I think in the long term, this could be a good little a little project pick as I think this is still the fourth round, right? This is a, yeah, yeah. It's still the fourth round. Yeah, I I don't hate it one bit. Um, it was it was another solid pick where mm-hmm. could the value have been better? Yes. Could it have been worse? Absolutely. And the player does have a clear path to a role with the team. Um, he has some wiggle to his game. Yeah. Like I'd watched a little bit of him. I didn't know all that much about him, um, but I noticed like they, they used him. He has like that H back versatility at the NFL. He's like a prototypical move tight end. Um, I didn't even know he was that small. Like I mm-hmm. watching him, I had no clue. He was like six three, two forty, or whatever his measurements are, but um, he has a little bit of speed to him, a little bit of wiggle. Um, I think he could offer a little bit after the catch. He's a guy that does several things well, not going to dominate at anything, not a dominant run blocker, not going to um, wow anybody with anything. But considering what the Chiefs have had at the backup tight end position over the past few years, I think that he is a a welcomed addition to that. And the fact that the Chiefs traded up for him means that they were really stoked to have a player like that on their team. I don't remember what – so they were at 175. They trade up to 162. Uh, that's how many selections is that? Uh, 13. Quick and math. Up, I think that's 13, right? Am I wrong? Um, I might have to. It's do been a long wrong. weekend. I, I think that's fine. We'll just go yeah. with it. <laughs> There's no way that's 13. It's like eight. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, this is really embarrassing. Tucker, uh, you're a substitute teacher. We have to break it down. Hey, listen. Okay. We're going to do it. <laughs> 175 minus 162. That's three. No, I was right. It was 13. I was right the first time. That's 13. It was 13. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. 13 picks. <laughs> it's you're, you're right. It has been a long weekend. Anyway, um, I thought it was interesting they did trade up for a tight end, right? Because there were still some wide receivers on the board. We talk about the board yep. a whole lot. There are wide receivers there. Chiefs needed a wide receiver. They don't get a wide receiver <laughs> when they trade up. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess a tight end. I guess Travis Kelsey is going to play the X wide receiver. I guess that's just going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I do like him. I think that he is a good athlete. He's not the, the RAS score you would expect because he is so small. Um, mm-hmm. His, his RAS was a little lower, but all of his testing numbers were, were good to great. There was nothing bad about his athletic testing, which I think is notable. The only bad thing were his size, which, you know, you can lift weights, you can eat more food. Um, hopefully he can yeah, go into the gonna... taffy puller a little bit and get your arms stretched out, get a little bit taller. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that, but um, I, I do think it's a good long-term pick to get a tight end to that's, that's a reliable pass catching threat as well. I mean, Demetrius Harris was probably the last pass catching threat. And we know all, we all know how well that went uh, with Demetrius Harris. Not extremely so... reliable. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so hopefully Noah Gray becomes extremely reliable because according to PFF, I believe he had a 2.8% drop rate, which is it's pretty good. Yeah, he, he has really good hands. Like they're soft hands. He's not a body catcher. He is going to pluck the ball out of the air with 
he doesn't have the catch radius. So that's the thing. Like, does he pluck the ball out of the air? Do you give him those types of opportunities? Like the Chiefs don't do that with their tight end too. And that ironically, that's what Demetrius Harris was like the best at was those crazy catches that Mm -hmm. even Demarcus Robinson is someone like that, where you give him a ball that he shouldn't catch and he will make that play, but then you give him one that is a gimme and he can't make it happen. I think that Noah Gray is going to be a reliable, consistent presence. And that's kind of what the Chiefs need because there have been some backbreaking drops um, that have killed drives in the past few seasons. There just hasn't been a reliable target. The Chiefs haven't used a lot of 12 personnel. I don't know if that's going to increase maybe with a guy like Noah Gray. Um, It'll remain to be seen what place he takes on the depth chart, um, whether he'll start off on special teams, stuff like that, that Chiefs rookies usually do. But long-term, over the next few years, look, he's not going to replace Travis Kelsey. He's not going to take that spot. No one is going to come in and be the heir to Travis Kelsey. Like, even Tommy Tremble. Mm -hmm. Kelsey's still got a few good years of football left in him. Like, you don't have to think about that quite yet, in my opinion. But um, maybe take a little bit of pressure off of him, add another dynamic player to the offense. And I think the Chiefs got better at that position by adding Noah Gray. (laughs) 